we will focus on ledgers. The definition of a ledger is that a ledger is a book showing the information of the summarized individual accounts from the books of first entry. Now there are three types. We have the debtor's ledger, then we have the creditor's ledger and then we have the general ledger. Let's have a look at the debtor's ledger. Now our debtor's ledger is a ledger used for individual debtors accounts so this means that our debtors are customers that pay us with credit or buy goods on credit and pay later so this means that they are our credit customers which do credit sales our creditors ledger is a ledger used for individual creditors accounts now this can be an individual or a business that we buy on credit from so that means that we do not pay with cash but we buy on credit so these are our credit suppliers which we do credit purchases and then we get the general ledger and this is the ledger that includes the owner's equity, the liabilities, the assets, the income, expenses, and final accounts. So our general ledger will comprise of our assets, our owner's equity, and our liabilities. Here is a brief summary of all of them. We will go into more detail in the different types of transactions later. Now the format of the debtor's ledger is as follows. We will have the date, the detail, folio, debit, credit and balance columns. And for this, every debtor has its own debtor's ledger. The same will go for our creditor's ledger. We will also have the date, the details, the folio, the debit side, the credit side and the balance. And every creditor will have their own creditor's ledger. Now the format of the general ledger is as follows. The general ledger is also referred to as a T account because of the T shape. It also has a debit side which is on the left and a credit side which is on the right. Also, the date is written in a unique format. You write the year, the month, and then the day, just as indicated in the yellow square. Now, the rules for double entry will be as follows. For our assets, for our drawings, and for our expenses, those will increase on the debit side and they will decrease on the credit side and for our liabilities our income and for our capital they will increase on the credit side and decrease on the debit side so if we were to rearrange that then it would be as follows we would say ade which is assets drawings and expenses increases on the debit side and decreases on the credit side and LIC which is liabilities income and capital decrease on the debit side and increase on the credit side now we will illustrate the rules for the double entry by recording the transactions in the general ledger debtors ledger and creditors ledger but first let's have a look at the cash transactions